The final persistent style that I'm going to add to this is box shadow. Uh, I want to make these guys sort of pop off the page a little bit, give a little 3D kind of feel to it. Um, well, and I'll do that just by uh, adding the box shadow element to uh, attribute rather to eight columns because that's the one I'm going to do it to. So let's go and start box shadow. And now the first value we're going to do, a required value, is its horizontal offset, right? And that means which way is this shadow going to go? If I do a negative value, it's going to go to the left. If I do a positive value, it's going to go to the right. So I want it to be to the right. So let me give it about, let's say, five pixels to the right. Okay. Uh, the next value is going to be, the next required value is going to be the horizontal offset. Now if I give it a positive value, that shadow is going to go down, so it's going to end up below this element. If I give it a, ne a negative value, it's going to go above it, but I want that to be a, a negative value, as a positive value as well, because I want it to be below. Let me not put it exactly 5, let me put it uh, 3 pixels, just kind of giving it more like the lights coming from more from the I guess left than the top corner um, so far so good now I have two optional um, values over here what short of inset I guess the third one which would put it inside but that's not the look I'm going for I have the uh, the blur and how how blurred it's going to be you know if you leave it at one it's uh, or rather at zero it's going to be perfectly sharp with no blur and the higher the number the higher the blur the color is going to be and then you have the size of the shadow how far you want it to go now what I think I'm going to do before I even bother doing that at all is just see what this gets me by adding the color final final required um, attribute you need to put in there so I'm gonna go 5 by 3 pixels and gray so let's see what that looks like um, okay it's what I was looking for actually now that I see it I, I think I do want uh, equal 5 and 5 on both sides okay very nice and now let's add a blur to it let's say twice what it is now so we kind of we just blur it up a little bit eh? maybe not 10 pixels let's give it a 5 pixel blur it's very subtle I mean I guess we could attempt to add a little spread to that blur to that shadow eh, that didn't really do what I wanted it to do 10 pixels seem a bit much maybe one kind of give it a little something you know at this point you're just having fun and you're just kind of uh, playing around until you get it exactly like you want but actually I'm going to take mine out completely now just I guess the one rule to keep in mind is that uh, subtlety goes a long way so don't go getting too crazy with this blur effects um, the whole point of it is to add a little bit of a three-dimensional pop to these tiles um, but you don't want to add something that just looks flat out unrealistic.